benefit of uh, these technologies, Nigeria must develop a comprehensive strategy for their widespread adoption and integration. Collaboration between the public and private sectors will be crucial in this effort. President of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Gabriel Idahosa, said this at a second secular, secular economic conference tagged Secular Economy Value Chain, Building Successful Ecosystem. Idahosa believes that industry leaders can support innovation by developing platforms that enable data sharing and material tracking across supply chains. For the Director General of the LCCI, Chinyera Almona, as Nigeria th strives to build successful secular economic ecosystem, cooperation and knowledge sharing are vital. The idea that circular economy pays, um, so the theme is circular economy value creation, and we want to be able to showcase some of the initiatives that have succeeded. Also, we are positioning ourselves, you will know that the COP29 just ended in Baku, Azerbaijan, and some of the takeaways from the COP29 included the fact that circular economy is a climate solution. So at the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, we're taking this a notch higher um, because in terms of advocacy, we need to be able to provide um, regulations or suggestions or recommendations for government on how to um, support the private sector to um, promote or enhance initiatives within the circular economy. Instead of that, if you picture a circle, Right, where we, we keep the materials or the products in use for a long time, for as long as possible. So instead of throwing them away, we find ways to use them again and again, reducing waste and consuming less resources. That is secular economy. Dr. Ayotunde Koka, chairman of the LCCI Science, Energy and Technology Committee, discussed the importance of the secular economy to the sector. He also hinted at how the government could help ensure a successful ecosystem. The LCCI's theme challenges business to rethink not only their resource use, but also how they can collaborate. Additionally, it highlights the collective responsibility to maximize value while preserving resources for future generations. Economy, which is use and discard. Um, it's, there's a lot of inefficiency in that process. Within the circular economy, we're saying that we will use, we can reuse, we can recycle, and we can use it for other things. So innovation is critical. And in today's world where the economy is struggling and everybody is thinking about the challenges and how to make ends meet, one key thing is innovate. Innovate, innovate, innovate. That's the message, that if we are able to innovate, then we can create efficiencies within what we have. And then we can see that sometimes the resources that we need, we already have. We just need to be able to manage it. We need to be able to reduce waste. And you know, we can then ensure that we are kind of being even more profitable. Single use now that starts becoming unsustainable, where you have well, what, 15,000 metric tons of waste and stuff like that generated, we need to find a way of creating a circular economy, recycling and so on for sustainability. But you see, circularity is good business because when you engage in it, you create jobs and you create sustainability and you bring more people into employment and you have businesses that actually can thrive on creating circular economies. Of course, there are affirmative and positive actions government can take, and government have been doing that uh, in, in driving and growing the circular economy. From Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry point of view, the circularity is key, key to sustainability, and it's good business. And that's also why we see it as a key subject area to embrace uh, and uh, support and grow. Okay. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.